Okay, in this demonstration, uh, I have to apologize up front. I was looking at these test tubes with the labels facing forward and uh, did not see which ones are which. So you're going to see I do some things backwards here. But we're starting with a 0.1 molar HCl solution. Uh, we have our distilled water and our goal is to make a number of dilutions of the acid and base. We're just going to do the acid in this demo. Now that was a universal indicator. Universal indicator is kind of a green color when it comes out of the bottle, but it changes color with different pH and we're going to see that demonstrated. We're also using a micro pipette as we transfer from tube to tube and hopefully you've read this and understand how we're going to do that. Uh, and I'll show you kind of the uh, procedure, but again, uh, I apologize for the mistakes uh, on the labels because I did not have them facing me, which you should always have them facing you when you're working with labeled test tubes. All right, I've set the micro pipette to uh, 100 microliters, 100 microliters. That is a tenth of a milliliter. And I've got my tip and we are going to extract 100 microliters from our starting solution and add that to our first test tube that should say 0 0.01 HCl, not NaOH. So again, for the rest of this video, please pretend that all of those NaOH tubes are correctly labeled with HCl. Okay, this is our larger micropipette. Uh, it is set for 900 microliters. And what we're trying to do is a one-tenth dilution. So each time we're taking uh, a tenth of the previous tube and adding it to the next tube with nine-tenths water. Okay, we've mixed that up a little bit. We're going to extract from the 0 0.01 solution uh, one tenth of that solution and add that to our next test tube and dilute it again. One part of the acid solution to nine parts water. So now we're going to extract our 900 microliters of distilled water and add that. And again, we want to mix that up a little bit. And then we'll go to our next one. So there's our uh, 100 microliter pipe, micro pipette. And we're going to take some of that solution, put it in the next one. And notice that we're using a new pipette tip each time. Pet tips can cause cross contamination if you don't. And again, we're adding our 900 microliters of water. And mix it up a little bit. Two more to go. And again, 100 microliters from the 0, 0.00. 01 tube to our next one. Each time we're diluting by a factor of 10. And adding the water. 900 microliters of water. tube. We'll take 100 microliters from the previous tube, add it to our last tube. We'll add the 900 microliters of water. And 
And since hydrochloric acid is a clear uh, solution, they don't look any different. They all look the same. Uh, you can't really tell just by appearance. So what we're going to do is use the universal indicator, a neat chemical that changes color based on the pH. So as we go through uh, each of the tubes, we're going to add a few drops of universal indicator and see what happens. And it doesn't really ha matter how much you add. All we're really doing is trying to get a color change. So we'll just put a couple of drops in there and see what we get. Okay, so kind of mix those up. You can see that one's pretty much a bright reddish pink. That one's a little lighter pink, maybe a little bit more of an orange hue. And that one looks pretty yellow. Uh, that one's also yellow, maybe a little darker. And a little bit darker yellow, maybe starting to look a little green. This is what the pH values should look like. You can see a pH of 4 is very uh, reddish, uh, up to yellow being uh, pretty close to 6. Hopefully you know at this point that uh, pH of 7 is neutral. So in this tube we're just adding some water and a little bit of the universal indicator to see what just plain old water looks like. And I have to be honest with you here, it's a little more yellow than it should be, uh, and I'm just not real sure why. I don't know if that's because maybe the tube was a little contaminated. It should be more of a green color. So you can see here we have a nice rainbow of kind of red to yellow. If we were to do this with the bases, we would see a similar rainbow, uh, kind of going from green close to neutral to more and more blue and purple.